Hi, and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name's Chris, and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another video. And in today's video, we're going to have a look at everything Bitcoin. You know, we've seen a really good push to the upside recently. We're going to dig into everything that's happening and see if we can kind of figure out what's going on from a fundamental viewpoint. If you enjoy this sort of content, mash up that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tapping that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. Right, let's get down to the desktop. Okay, so we're going to start on coin market cap. Now, the total market cap of all crypto is up 1.89% at the time of recording at $1.15 trillion. And Bitcoin is above $24,000 now at $24,189.58. And it's up 2.43% today, but 7.5% for the week and yeah lots going on right and um you know the the recent uh cpi numbers coming out has really you know uh, boosted um i guess the the price of a lot of these assets and i i kind of feel that this is um going to be short-lived I, I i don't see the the volume really being there to sustain moves like this and uh, so fantastic volatility if you're a trader uh, and you know um the best asset i kind of feel like at the moment um outside you know um announcements on on certain altcoins is ethereum right there's been some wonderful opportunities to to make some money on ethereum so do jump in our discord link is in the description it's free to join over four thousand people talking about crypto 24 7 and check out the patreon uh, we have a team of technical analysts doing technical analysis on request for our top tier membership on patreon so do check that out two weekly amas uh, where you can ask us anything nick and myself are on there and um we do project reviews uh write-ups as well so definitely worth checking that out if that is of interest so i think the first piece of news that i want to talk about and try to, to keep it a little bit positive is the fact that we've seen three billion dollars worth of bitcoin 133 thousand bitcoin being moved to a new wallet um so again really quite interesting here with the number of uh wallets and this would you know, basically put this individual in you know one of the the top holders of crypto uh sorry of bitcoin um yeah look really interesting to see what's going on here uh i think grayscale hold nearly 683 um thousand bitcoin um so yeah really interested to to get your views and opinions on on you know these individuals holding huge sums of btc um i'm going to link this in the discord for people to read through at their leisure but i did think it was rather interesting that you know it could be somebody that's just purchased or it could be somebody that you know is just moving it uh, they've already held it but perhaps they're moving it to a more secure wallet uh, wouldn't surprise uh, be surprised to see people doing that at the moment another really bullish piece of news depending on how you look at it is the fact that blackrock launches a private trust to give clients exposure to spot bitcoin again i think this is you know something really positive again i think it's going to drive more money into the space but let's be honest it doesn't change the fact that bitcoin is seen as a risk on asset so you know in the the sort of financial um landscape that we're currently sat in and potentially you know it's going to get worse um these are the assets that are sold first so it's bullish but i don't think it's a bullish short term right now i think it's more bullish later on as you know the economies and everything start to recover but i think you know it's far too early to, to be talking about those sorts of things uh, I, I st still feel that there's a lot of pain to come now you know people uh, are in the comments you know um, making comments like you know we're wishful thinking um you know you, you're really clinging to, to to hopium for lower prices look i would just like confirmation you know or an invalidation so we know which way we're actually going there's nothing that's set in stone to say that we're going to see lower lows i just look at the financial landscape and everything that's happening in the space and i i, I look at it and i i just can't see that you know we're not going to see lower lows now unlike everybody else i called the bottom the most recent bottom um in june in may so you know you've got somebody here that was bang on with calling the the, the most recent bottom 
uh, telling you that actually on reflection, seeing you know everything play out and looking at the financial landscape, telling you that actually I don't think that bottom's in now. So either I was right back in you know back in May. Uh, and I'm wrong now, or I was wrong back in May, and I'm right now. Look, I didn't have to. I could have just been gloating about the fact that I, you know I was right, and you know everybody would um, be writing wonderful comments like "Don't boast. There's no need to boast. Be, you know, you're better than that," and all that sort of BS. Look, ultimately, there wasn't anybody. You know, none of these other you know um, technical analysis uh, YouTubers. Um, with similar following sizes or even you know some of the the bigger ones they weren't calling june uh, crypto bottom you know uh, at all they weren't um so you know it's it's ironic that we're being told we're wrong now a um, little bit of a rant don't get me wrong um, but it is massively frustrating to be sat here telling you how we see the market with you know basically it's an opinion everybody's entitled to one you've got one we've got one um, but ultimately, you know, we're yet to be proven wrong. Uh, until that happens, I'm quite happy to put my hand up, unlike many others, and say I was wrong. Um, but, you know, at the same time, I am going to be gloating a lot when, uh, you know, six months down the line where we see the new bottom come in. Uh, time will tell whether we uh, actually get to do that. But, you know, that's my expectations. I am very confident in it. Um, the other thing to, to highlight here, and uh, that would be Polkadot now has a decentralized version of wrapped Bitcoin. And I think this is really bullish. I know it's kind of off topic of Bitcoin, but it's still Bitcoin topic, right? So I need to talk about it. I am a big fan of everything that Polkadot are doing. I do think this project is going to do really well. And I think this is a welcome addition to the Polkadot ecosystem, in my opinion. So let me know what your thoughts and opinions are. I will link all of these articles in our Discord. It's definitely worth jumping in, free to join. I'm not trying to pitch you anything here. And, you know, let's just sort of move to some realism here, right? Um, we've got 475 million in Bitcoin options um, due to expire this week. Are the bulls or the bears poised to win? Now, I don't really have an answer on this. I kind of want to leave it open uh, and want to get your views and opinions. Do you think that we're going to see like a pretty sizable pullback because of this in the market this week? Let me know in the comments below. Really interested to get your views and opinions again i will link this in the, in the discord so definitely worth jumping in look right the way i kind of see the market is you know it's worth dipping your toe in i think there's fantastic trading opportunities um you know jump in the discord and you know have those discussions with us i'm not by any stretch of the imagination telling people not to, to go near the market i think there's wonderful opportunities uh, i have started a portfolio builder and i will be looking to make small purchases on a regular basis dollar cost averaging into the market when i kind of feel like it's the right times to do that um but you know with all that said i've got large sums of cash on the sidelines ready to deploy if and when necessary and when i say this i'm talking about when we see lower lows come in i will be making those purchases now nick and myself we're probably guilty of talking about what we expect too early you know we could have been talking about us going to you know um higher um highs than you know recently not like the higher highs than you know all-time all high and stuff but you know the most recent highs you know going slightly higher than that we could have been talking about that and we could have held off telling you about like the stuff that's happening in china that isn't really being covered in the media at the moment um i think we're just guilty of being too early to expose what's you know about to happen in the market personally but let me know what your thoughts and opinions are i hope you enjoyed today's video trying to be real with you trying to give you our views our opinions you know uh, unbiased opinions you know we don't want to to be like all the other influencers you know blowing smoke up your asses i really want to just tell you what we see in the market be really honest and transparent unlike a lot of the others and you know we're not doing this for, for clicks or views we're doing this because we want you to be successful in the space you know if we're wrong we'll be the first people to put our hands up you know in the air and say that we were wrong however you know i think we're gonna you know see slightly higher prices and then i think we're gonna have some realism and uh, a lot of people are going to be humbled i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did mash up that like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed already tapping that bell selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video and i'll catch you in the next one take care